I don't know what it is, but something about Sunday brunch, people go crazy. They've even expanded it. Now people are going for Saturday brunch. There are a few places that are even doing a Friday brunch. What the heck? It's Sunday brunch, it's what you do. Not Friday, barely Saturday, barely, I might, maybe Saturday, maybe. Having said that, there are a few drinks that people normally get for brunch, and I think it's about time that we expand these horizons. People get Bloody Marys and mimosas for brunch. We need more options, people. Not only is this an option, this is a really good option, y'all. This is like a really, this is a really good option. This blows mimosas away, blows them away. Not as easy to make, but it's, who cares? So good. Like. Stupid good. So let's just dive into this and we will make a cocktail and it will be amazing and you should have it at your brunch. This should be on your brunch menu. We're gonna start off with gin. I can't express to you enough how much you should really give gin a chance. I know a lot of people that say, oh, I can't drink gin, gin's gross, blah, 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 blah. I guarantee you, you can find a gin drink you're gonna like. Give this one a chance if you're concerned about gin. And if you love gin, Oh, you need to drink this. One and a half ounces, beef eater, London dry. One of the best things you can ever put in with gin is chartreuse. It's kind of a requirement. If you have a chartreuse and you're not using it with gin, you're missing out on life. We're gonna do a half an ounce of chartreuse. There we go. Now we were really looking for something on this to give it a little bit of a kick. And I made a homemade ginger syrup that we put in there, but it wasn't a strong enough ginger. So we went back to the tried and true ginger liqueur and ginger and gin go together perfectly. The spice of this in here, really nice. I would even go for a spicier ginger. I'm gonna put a half ounce of this ginger liqueur in here. We're gonna throw some acid in, not a lot. A quarter ounce of this lemon. There'll be some more coming though. Oh yes, there will. This right here, is a strawberry rosemary shrub. You know by now I love shrubs. This is great, this is my best one yet. Strawberry and chartreuse are great flavors together. With the vinegar in here, this is gonna be one of our acids. We're going to put just a quarter ounce of this in there. And that rosemary adds a nice little touch of flavor. It's really nice. When we made this originally, uh, we were using some bitters that Van from Odd Duck had brought in, and I don't have those kind of bitters, but I do want to put a little bit of bitters in there, so I'm just gonna use an Angostura. It's a, it's a nice, effective bitter. Boop, just a little bit in there. Give it a little more depth, complexity. Bring out those flavors. That's what you do. Put some ice in there. Shake it up, baby. That feels about right. Now here's where it really turns into a brunch cocktail. Up to now, you'd be like, well, it's just a drink. Why is that all brunchy? Well, I'm gonna put it in a champagne flute. That makes it brunchy, right? Right? I'm not gonna lie, it's kind of hard to pour the champagne flute without me making a mess, but I'm gonna do my best. Look how pretty that is. Oh, look how pretty that is. That's so pretty. Boom. But why would you ever use a champagne flute and not use champagne? Wah! You wouldn't. We're gonna top this off with some bubbly, a dry champagne. Use a Brut, maybe a Sauvage if you really wanna go crazy, if you're a savage. We're just gonna top this bad boy off. And that is what you call brunch, cocktail. You know what though, let's do this. Let's, let's fancy it up a little bit. I'm gonna fancy it up a little bit. Put a little rosemary on top. Look at that. It's a brunch cocktail and it's really, really good. It smells really good, not gonna lie. That's a weird sound. Oh man, y'all, don't ever drink a mimosa again because this is legitimately great. It is so good. It's just the perfect balance. Oh man, I'm such a huge fan of that right now. Like if I could get that for brunch, I would totally drink that for brunch. Normally I get water, because I'm not a big mimosa fan. And Bloody Mary's, hit or miss, who knows. This, I'll drink the crap out of this, y'all. It's really, really good. So the name for this has a story. 
This was probably the last cocktail we made on the live stream. And uh, as I was making it, I had a nice big liter bottle of shrub that was sitting right here. And as I was rolling around doing things, I knocked it off and it shattered on the ground. Liter of sugary vinegar all over my kitchen. Horrible, horrible. Smells, it still kind of smells like vinegar, actually. Anyway, even though we cleaned it up, every time I took a step, it sounded like there was Velcro back here. My shoes were just creak, creak, creak. It got so bad, I just took off my shoes. So I took off my shoes back here, it was a lot better. It wasn't sticky, we cleaned it up, it was fine. But my shoes were sticky, took them off, stickiness went away. So we're gonna call this one the Barefoot Brunch. This is really great, y'all. I want this right now. I can have this right now. So if you like this recipe, and you should because it's awesome, you should totally click over there and see more videos all about making drinks and things at home for your friends and family and anybody else you want to. You should also click down there and subscribe so that you can see all this stuff. Don't forget to click the little bell so that you get notifications so you'll know when there's a new thing that you need to watch because this is awesome and why would you want to miss out on this? I don't know, you wouldn't.